Experiment 1 Categorizations of Plants For gathering leaves, the tools we need to prepare include basket, zipper bag, scissors, black markers. Today, the plant we are going to gather is named Ardicia squimulosa. We write down the name of the plant first, then the time of gathering, and the location on the zipper bag. After it is done, we cut off the leaf from Ardicia squimulosa with scissors. When gathering leaves, since we need some time to observe, we will try to cut off the leaf without a bit more steam or keep more leaves to make it easier for us to observe. Once we're done, put the leaves in the zipper bag. Okay, after putting it into the zipper bag, please do not seal the opening. Just like this, as long as it will not come off and we put it into the basket. Ji 黄金葛 These are the leaves we just gathered. 珠椒、竹子、清风叶、浮木、黄金葛、鸡蛋花、桂花 百合花榕树台湾栾树 Roughly sort the leaves we just gathered by their shapes. For this one, we can see the leaf of a Paparium memorium looks like a heart. Based on its looks, we can call it heart-shaped. Okay, we see the next one. This is Oliver's maple. It looks like a palm, so we call it palm-shaped. For the rest of the leaves, we can sort them simply into two kinds of categories. One category is like this, looks like an oval. This is banyan's leaf. This is the sweet asmanthus leaf. This is the fukugi tree's leaf. The shape of these three leaves all look like oval. Next, we see the leaves. They all look like plants to relate another kind of shape. This is the leaves of the lily. This is the leaves of the pinea rubra. This is cordyline fruit of the leaves. This is the leaves of the pinea rubra. This is bamboo's leaves. This is the leaves of the pinea rubra. This is the leaf of Taiwan Golden Rain Tree. This is a more common plant called cactus. Its leaf is needle-shaped. We can see its leaf are actually degenerated, just like needle stuck on tree. We call it needle-shaped. There might be more kinds of leaf shape, not just the one we introduced here. It can be a triangle, like false shamrock, or the shape of the orchid tree leaves looks like sheep's hoof. These are all possible, so there can be more shapes and not limited to what we have introduced here. Next, we're going to observe the leaf margin. We can see that the leaf margin of the Frankopony is actually smooth, so we categorize its margin as smooth. 
Next, the leaf margin of banyan is also smooth. Lily's leaf margin is smooth too. Then we see the sweet osmanthus. Be careful when you touch it, because it's a little prickly. We call it jacket shape. For this one, we can see the leaf margin clearly without touching. That is the jacket shape, and this one is the Taiwan golden rain tree. This is devil's leaf. The margin is smooth. Next, for the Fukuoka tree, it is also smooth. For Oliver's maple, we can see with our naked eyes. That is actually jacket. For the bamboo, you should be really careful. Be gentle. And do not put too much force on it. It is because it's jagged shape around the margin. In fact, it is not easy to see. Your hand may be cut if you touch it. This is tea plant. Its margin is smooth too. We can sort them into two categories based on their margins: jagged and smooth. Let us take a closer look about the vein on the leaf. We can observe leaves like lilies. Its vein goes straight from the patio to the tip of the leaf. Each vein is independent. One striker by another striker, and there are no intersections. We call this parallel venation. Which one is similar to it? Let us take a look. Let us see the bamboo leaf. It is also parallel venation. Start from the base of the patio to the tip of the leaf. This is parallel venation too. Let us check the different leaves. Let us take a look. Let us see the tea plant. First, its veins start from the patio, then keep forward to the tip of the leaf. For this vein, however, we can see other veins on the leaf. They spread to the leaf margin. We do not call this parallel venation. We call it net vein. The leaf of Oliver's maple is the same. Similarly, the vein spreads forward to the leaf margin. For the Fukuoka tree, let us take a look at its vein. It is the same with the Oliver's maple. Besides, the main vein is in the middle of the leaf. Other vein spreads to the margin. This one. Its vein is obvious too. This is devil ivy. Its vein spreads towards the leaf margin too. We call it its net vein. This is the leaf of Taiwan golden rain tree, and it also spreads toward the leaf margin. This is sweet asmenthus. There's only this vein in the middle that is clear. All the other veins spread forward to the leaf's margin. This leaf vein, this may be a bit blurry. We move it closer. This is the banyan tree. Banyan trees are also net veined. Next, this leaf is very big and its vein is clear. Frankopani. We can see this vein in the middle. This vein is very clear. The veins to the sides are also very clear. It is like a net. So the leaves in the side in this section we call them net vein. These two, the lily and the bamboo, we all call them parallel vein. The color of the plant's leaf are also a bit different. The most common one we see are like less green leaf, but not all plants' leaves are green. There's some like this purple one, and some are like the leaves of garden quartan have more than two colors on the same leaf.